Hi everybody, welcome to the next Multigo video. This one is coming to you from Cape Town, so we've recently moved offices. You can see the venue is a little bit different. Um, and in this one, we're just gonna give you kind of an introduction into the latest version of Multigo. So the release is called 3.5, um, and we've codenamed it uh, Multigo Carbon. So that's the one that you'll be able to download from our website, hopefully this week. And we're just gonna run through some of the new features and the nice things that we have within the tool that you'll probably find interesting and things that you can use so let's get started with that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the binary. And here you'll see that we've got a new splash screen. There's a bit of new color on the, on the starting screen. I'm gonna load up everything as you do normally. So one of the things is that you will download 3.5 uh, from our website. You won't be able to update from the old release, uh, Tungsten. Uh, but as soon as you start it, it'll say, hey, do you wanna import your previous configuration? So you have the ability just to import all your old settings um, so it makes it quite an easy switch over to the latest version. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to say yes, um, and then it will give me the options to import my settings and whatever I've got from my previous version. Okay, I'm not going to run through that. Uh, I think you'll be able to do it on your own. Uh, but you can see that there's a whole bunch of new branding and things that you can use within the tool. Otherwise, everything else looks pretty standard. Uh, the other changes that you'll see, besides from everything saying Multigo Carbon, uh, is that the ribbon at the top has got a new section. So we're gonna cover that just now. Um, just gonna wait for this to finish updating. Okay, so it's finished updating. I'm just gonna say go away, start this again. So you'll see here at the top, uh, there's a new section. So if you go into the manage section now, you'll see there's a thing for managed services. So that's something uh, relating to the OAuth stuff that I'll get to as well as tabular import mappings that we'll cover just now. Okay, so one of the things that you'll see that are new in the ribbon uh, under the Manage tab is the Manage Services option. Uh, so we've implemented this because uh, generally in the past, a lot of transforms would use public services that had things like rate limitations. And because of the way Multigo was structured, the server would rely on a single key that was ours, and then you'd practically hit a rate limit that made using the transforms uh, impossible. So what we've done now is we've given the uh, end users, the clients, the ability to sign into various services such as Twitter uh, or anything that they've got using OAuth, um, and then we can use those uh, and perform the transforms that way. So what I've done here is I've just clicked on Manage Services and I can click on Sign In. It's now gonna open Twitter for me and it'll say, do I wanna authorize an application so that, it can use, uh, so that I can use it? And I'll say Authorize Application. It's gonna redirect me and now it'll say I've successfully logged in. All right, so now I can go back into Multigo. You'll see that now it says sign out instead of sign in, and now I can start using these transforms. So I'm gonna just do something on Rulofo myself. So I'm gonna drag an alias in. I'm just gonna put in my alias, and then I'm gonna put in Rulof's alias. Okay, and I'm gonna say, okay, take each of these aliases and just convert them into Twitter users. All right, so just gonna look them up on Twitter, return those results. Then I'm going to say, okay, take each of these, and now I can say for each of these, find me the followers, so I can try and find uh, any followers that we have in common. So I'm actually going to push my slider up a little bit, um, just so that we can get a lot of them. And I'm going to say two followers. And now this transform is going to go and take uh, my OAuth token, send it to Twitter, and now I can run this, this transform not having to worry about being rate limited. Okay, and there you'll see the entities come back, so those are one of ours. And there's the other one. And now I can see that right here in the middle are all the followers that we have in common. So it's a nice way to sort of start correlating that data. And um, it's really nice that we can implement this with OAuth as well. One of the things that always uh, caused us trouble in the past was that we had the ability to share transforms uh, with seeds and entities and configurations and things. But actually it was quite a pain to do between teams because I'd have to give someone a particular URL that was their seed and then I'd also have to give them a package of say the machines and the entities and everything else that goes with it. Uh, so one of the new things in Multigo Carbon is that you have the ability during the discovery process to also discover a configuration along with your seed. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you. So this only applies obviously to people who have their own servers and things. Uh, but if I, go to, um, if I go to my server, you'll see there's a new section called paired configurations. Okay, and within here, I can just upload a configuration that I've exported from a client. So that's where I've set up all the machines and entities and things. All right, so I can upload it to the server. Um, and then when I configure my seeds, so as I used to uh, normally, I pick all the transforms and so on. 
Um, and I also have the ability to pick a paired configuration that'll go with that. So I can say in this case, the movie database config, which just holds a couple of entities, should also go with the seed. Okay, so here I can just copy it to clipboard. Um, and then within the tool, so as, as I did before, I go to discover transforms, put in the URL, in this case, the movie database. All right, so I can run through the wizard. So now it's going and picking up just the transforms. And after this stage, it'll then go and pick up all the entities. So there's the transforms, there's the entities that it's found. And of course, that could also include machines and everything else. Um, so here you'll see that they're now available to me uh, in my palette. So what I can do is just use these. I'm just going to drag in a phrase. I'm going to use Pacino, right? And then I can run a transform. So I can say uh, search for talent. So now I get El Pacino. Now what I can do is say, okay, well, show me all the movies. All right, I get all the movies that he starred in. And then I can say, okay, for all of these movies, show me who directed each of them. All right, so now I can start correlating different types of information. In this case, just movie, the movie database. And I can look for things that say, okay, well, if there's one director, he's directed a few together. Um, so I'll show you as soon as this is finished. So here I can see that there's the ability to say, okay, well, for all the Godfather movies, they were directed by this person, I can see, and I can start correlating between different movies and, and how they've, they've got it. Uh, some of the other things that we've actually implemented in the graph as well is the ability to now do bookmarks with a shortcut. So previously I did bookmarks, uh, I could select them, uh, I could go to the individual entity and then change the color. Now what I can do is I can use uh, control and I can use one, two, three, four, five, uh, to change the bookmark color. So there's me just changing it on the keyboard. Right, and then of course zero to remove it. So that's a nice new feature. Um, and then lastly, one of the other things that's happened uh, in Multigo Carbon as well, more specifically on the server side, is that the search engine transforms have been improved a little bit. So we've been working really hard to make sure that we're now not getting, we're getting a lot less false positives when we're searching for things, uh, specific, specifically on things like telephone numbers, uh, and when using a phrase. So you're, not gonna, you're no longer going to get any parts of, it, of phrases. You're actually only going to get what you've been searching for. So one of the new things that uh, we've also implemented in Multigo Carbon is the ability that instead of having to uh, use the same mapping for every single file that you're going to use uh, when doing a tabular import or importing graph from a table, you can now save a mapping and you can use it on multiple files. So if you've got a hundred files that are all in the same structure and you want to say, okay, well this entity maps, uh, this column maps to this entity, has these properties, it links out like this, you can then go and save that configuration and it makes the whole importing process a lot quicker and a lot easier to do. So I'm just going to show you an example quickly. Uh, so I've got two error dump samples here. Uh, so you'll see also that the import graph from table has now got a, a separate button in the, under the manage tab in the ribbon. Uh, so I can click on that. All right, there's a little bit of a, uh, of a wizard tutorial that tells you about it. I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm going to pick my second file, right? And I can say, okay, well, here's a mapping that I want to use that I've used already on the, on the first one. Uh, I'll say next. It says, okay, well, this is what it looks like. So things that I don't have to configure anything, I can just click next again, import all the rows. I can say, okay, I want it in the current graph. Uh, I can save this if I change anything to it. In this case, I don't want to. Um, then at the end, I just click finish. And then my graph has been imported really easily. So I'm just going to take out a bit of false positives there. And now if I look at my graph, I can quickly see two different files that have been correlated together using the same mappings in a really, really quick way. So the tabular import is now really, really nice to use if you have multiple pieces of data that you're using that come from similar sources or in a similar structure. Multigo Carbon has now been released. Uh, so you guys can go and grab it from our website. Remember, you'll need to download the binary. You won't be able to update from Tungsten, so you can just get that from our site. Uh, then lastly, we just want to tell you guys that we're going to be training at uh, Black Hat USA again this year. So if you're interested in learning about open source intelligence and specifically using it within Multigo uh, and what you can do with it, we'll be there giving the course. Uh, so sign up and uh, we'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.